Happy Friday, and thanks for tuning in to This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and each week I recap the top stories of the last seven days, plus your social media comments. This week we're talking about a spaceship that may be at the bottom of the Baltic Sea, the Voyager spacecraft is about to leave our galactic neighborhood, and some turtles died while doing, well, each other. Our first story is, Voyager 1 is about to become an interstellar emissary. NASA's Voyager 1 probe is about to taste the interstellar waters off of our sun's familiar shores. The 34-year-old spacecraft is going to become the first man-made object to enter interstellar space. This has been in the works for a while, and many outfits have reported on this event. My favorite being a radio show that talked about how Voyager will soon no longer be able to feel the solar wind. Our sun produces massive amounts of solar energy that splash out into our solar system in the form of energetic particles. As Voyager leaves the solar system, the solar wind is decreasing while cosmic rays that originate outside of our solar system are increasing. This is an incredible feat for mankind, uh, maybe robot kind. When Voyager finally stops feeling the magnetic influence of our sun, we will know for sure that it has left our solar system never to feel our sun again. It's currently 11.1 billion miles from Earth, which means it takes 16 hours for radio signals from Voyager to reach our planet, and then another 16 for us to send commands back at it, and that's at the speed of light. Voyager 1 and 2 were launched in 1977 with the goal to explore our outer planets as well as interstellar space. Stuff like this is why we need to keep funding space exploration. How can it not excite your imagination to think of a man-made object floating out of our solar system? That is so awesome. Read more about Voyager 1 at discoverynews.com slash Voyager is out. The second biggest story this week is also space related. Findings of deep sea alien hunt revealed. Explorers in Sweden discovered a structure at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. What is it? How did it get there? Why does it look like the Millennium Falcon? All of these are tough questions that the explorers are about to answer at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. Okay, that's sort of true. According to the Ocean Explorer team, it's not actually obviously a spacecraft. It's not even made of metal. It would seem, according to their reports, that they've killed any speculation that this could be an alien spacecraft, but we wouldn't be on the internet if we didn't expect conspiracy theories, right? <laughs> The object is likely a natural formation, and having originated before the last ice age, it probably never flew. However, just to keep things interesting, the divers did say that it was surprising that the object wasn't covered in silt, like everything else on the bottom of the ocean, and it had construction lines and boxes drawn on it. That should fuel some conspiracy, I think. What do you think it is? Leave a comment here or on discoverynews.com, and read more about the thing at discoverynews.com slash Baltic Spaceship. For our last story of the week, since we can't seem to not talk about it, ancient turtles died copulating. Last week it was penguins, and this week it's turtles. Nine turtle couples died while mating 47 million years ago. They were so busy getting busy that they didn't notice that they'd sunk into poisonous lake water. The lead author of the study commented that many animals go into sort of a trance-like state while mating or laying eggs. It could be possible that these turtles were mating and just didn't notice that they'd sunk into poisonous water. Yep. Before you think that these couples were having some kind of testudine swinger party, they were all from different events. It's extremely rare to find a fossil of something doing any behavior, but it's astounding to find nine examples of fossils doing the same behavior. The reason that they were all found here is likely the unusual properties of the lake where they were found. Maybe it just makes turtles want to get down. See all the action at discoverynews.com slash turtle fossil sex. That's it for me. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Discovery News. Make sure that if you want to see more of our coverage, that you like us on Facebook, you're following us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter. Links to all of these and subscription options are at discoverynews.com. Keep commenting and tweeting. I see them all. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday. Ready, Nikki? Rolling. Awesome. Which I hopefully can. It's like 12 words. But when you're just in a room by yourself, doing something crazy, it feels like you're being crazy. 12 words is too much. It's a constant flow. It's a constant flow. Because it's hard not to be awkward. Turtle fossil <laughs> sex. Say turtles. Nikki's like, no. <laughs> Terrible.